Exploring Flash CS3 Adobe Flash CS3 Flash CS3 is a multimedia software that allows the users to create desktop applications, mobile apps, games and animations. Let us explore further some important functions in Flash CS3. Symbol A symbol is an object in Flash that can be reused throughout the document. Symbols reduce the size of the file by saving multiple copies of the content. There are three types of symbols in Flash. Graphic, used for static artwork and animation. They have only one frame and timeline. Button, used to add mouse-related interactivity, such as clicks and rollovers to your Flash movie. Movie Clip, it is a combination of graphics, buttons and symbols and used with action script to add interactive functionality. Timeline and stage are different for each symbol. You can add frames, keyframes and layers to a symbol timeline. To create a symbol in Flash, draw a truck by selecting Rectangle tool and Oval tool. Choose the selection tool and drag the mouse over the object. When it is selected, click on modify and then convert to symbol. You will get a convert to symbol dialog box. Choose graphic option and specify the symbol's name in the name section. Now click OK. Notice that the object appears with a blue line around it. The symbol is added to the library. Animation An animation is a continuous series of still images that are displayed in a sequence to give the illusion of movement. The cartoon films which we see on TV are an example of animation. Animation plays a vital role in a multimedia program. Animations can be created in Flash with the help of tweening which means in between. There are two types of tweened animation. Motion tween. It works on symbols. Shape tween. It is used with objects that are ungrouped and not symbols. Create a motion tween. To apply motion tween, first drag the object like the circle here from the library window to the stage to give an animation effect to it. Next, move the pointer to frame 30 in the timeline. Then, right click in the field and choose Insert Keyframe option. Now, move the object to the right side of the stage. Select the timeline at any place between frame 1 and frame 30. Right click and select Create Motion Tween. A blue arrow line appears between the two frames, marking the motion tween. Press Enter key to view the movie. Creating a shape tween. To apply shape tween, draw a circle in the first keyframe of the timeline. Select frame 40, right click on the frame and select Insert keyframe option. Select the circle object from the stage and delete it. Then draw a rectangle. Select any frame between frame 1 to 40 and right click and select the Create Shape Tween option. Press Enter to view the movie. Motion Guide Tweening A motion guide tweening allows you to easily animate the motion of an object. In motion guide tweening, you don't need to define the location of the object in every frame. You can create a motion tween that will automatically move the object from starting location to ending location. To make a motion guide tweening, click on File and then New option to open a new stage. Click on Oval tool and draw a small circle like a ball. Select the ball and press F8 to convert it into a symbol. Click OK in the dialog box that appears. Now, 
go to frame 40, right click and select keyframe. Next, right click on frame 1 of layer 1 and select create motion tween. Now, right click on layer 1 and select add motion guide to create guide layer. Guide layer will appear above layer 1. Selecting this guide layer, draw a path on which the ball will bounce by selecting pencil tool. Go to layer 1 and frame 1. Now select the ball and move the ball at the beginning of the guide path on which ball will move. Then move to frame 40 of layer 1 and drag the ball at the end of the path to mark the end. If you wish to hide the path, hide the guide layer. Press enter key to play the movie.